After the FA Trophy dreams came to an early end on Saturday, it's a return to the league tonight for Dulwich Hamlet as they welcome long-time Isthmian rivals Harrow Borough. The Hamlet saw their 12-game unbeaten run ended at league rivals Harlow Town, losing 2-1 in a somewhat off-colour performance. The league leaders bring in two fresh faces tonight with returns for Gavin Tomlin and Ricky Hales, who captains the side. Mark Weatherstone and Nana Boachi Yadam are the players to drop out. Unlike Dulwich, Harrow weren't involved in cup duties on Saturday, but like the Hamlet, they lost to an Essex side, going down 2-0 at Thurrock. That result means it's no win in seven league games on their travels, and Steve Baker responds by making three changes. Ryan Moss starts against his ex-employers. 14 months ago, Harrow ran out 4-1 winners in this fixture. Can they end their barren away run? Or can the Hamlet return to winning ways? Number six is Sean There goes Ferguson. We're in the number 11 shirt with Tomlin's re-entry to the team tonight. We've covered a lot of grounds down this right-hand side up against Sean Preddy. Dulles throw, taken quickly by Ferguson. Here's Ming, looking to release Tomlin. Early shot, and well, Minter had to make the save at his near post. Not sure if he was sneaking in or not, but he wasn't to know, and it's the first stop the goalkeeper's had to make so far this evening. Tomlin with a, an early sight, had a look up. Just about had room for the shot. And they strike early here. Gavin Tomlin, who forced the corner, is going to deliver. And towards Chambers, and he gets head on it. Over the top it goes from Chambers, who's been in great goal scoring form in recent weeks, don't forget. Lovely ball in by Gavin Tomlin. Chambers met it well. He'll be the focal point of their set pieces tonight. And Harrow do what they did last season and get an early goal to give them the lead. And it comes in towards Moss. It's a poor header from Ryan Moss, who's such a natural goal scorer. He got up well, timed his run well. Well, misdirected his header in the end. That was the wrong part of his head, it looked like. Minter sends that long. Moss flicks it on, that's what he's good at. Turn from Cabba. He can play it wide. Brian. Tricky. Green will have to be on his toes here. Holds his run, plays it to Curtis Coverbatch. Back in the side tonight. Decent ball in as well. It's a goal kick in the end. Flying in there was Sean Preddy. Chambers are struggling now. Well, they just have Mark Weatherson on the bench now, as I say earlier. And we might be reading a change, you know. One of those is barely missed a minute this season. Early substitution being made here by the hosts. Uh, Mark Weatherstone only misses 10 minutes of this game, having been uh, dropped out of the lineup. Chambers, I'm sure, will now go and receive some attention. And that's all the way through to the Bostic Premier Goalkeeper of the Month, Preston Edwards. No one has kept more clean sheets in the league than him this season. Eight to his name. Dave Rogers is around. 
Apparently you need to replenish the 50-50 ticket. Kogba, so Ming. Dulledge of three up in support in this attack. Stepping the pass on to Gavin Tomlin. Time has run well. Goes down. Soggin Yil. No foul on the Dulledge number 10. And he got away from him, Tomlin. In comes a shot. It's the outside the post. It's a goal kick. Well, Tomlin was actually pulled back there by the left back. Lucky that wasn't spotted by the referee. Tomlin did well, though, to create the chance for himself. Minter was flying across. Power in that shot from Tomlin. Started the game well. Taking them 16 minutes to create their first corner. They've taken it short and quickly. It comes. Edwards has to deal with it. It's near post. I just caught napping a slight bit there. Now Sani slips this time on the surface. Played forward to Cabba. Bryant. Got Banyer on the outside. There is Charles Banyer. Draws in the shot. Edwards parries. Be another corner. Good spell this from Harrow. Just trying to bend that, Michael Bryan. Too close to Taylor there in the end. It's he who plays wide to green. This time Alassane is onside. And he'll get there ahead of Minter as well. Goalkeeper's in no man's land. He slipped as well. And Alassane still couldn't manage to take it around him. Got away with that. Here's Ferguson. Well played by Green to keep it alive. Ming. Dulwich free kick right on the edge of the area. That's a poor challenge on Nathan Ferguson there. Referees moves his wall back 10 yards. Ian Carew did what he did at Ellsmead, or will it be Tomlin? Carew leaves it. Tomlin strikes it, fizzes over in the end. A lot of power, a lot of venom. Not the accuracy from Gavin Tomlin. So it was his sort of range. Finds Alassani, waits for some support, gets it from Ferguson. Look at Nathan Green bursting forward into his stride, that pass. More gets him in his pocket for much of the first half. Able to centre though. Cleared away. Crew can strike it from this sort of range. He does. Blocked by Uja. Ming. Tomlin. Ming again. Low centre. Hammered away. Dulwich beginning on the front foot here. And the crowd getting behind their side. Oh, wants the ball on the far side. It's not going to come his way for the time being. Talking to your force backwards here and has to use Minter. Takes touch, Alassani trying to breathe down his neck. Once again wins his header. Here goes Cabba. Gets through, that's a foul by Taylor. On goes Banya, early shot, fires wide. Oh, in a huge moment there. If uh, he'd scored, referee has got some sorting out to do. In the build-up, there was a foul. Yellow card, I'm sure, is going to be shown here. Motherstone is getting a, a yellow card. Cogbo finds Ming, kept in play. Weatherstone chips that one forward for Tomlin to try and bring down. Alassani now lays it off for Ferguson. Pocket of space to work with, fires in the shot, but it's wide of the far post. I think Minza was fairly confident that wasn't troubling him. Nice layoff from Alassani. Ferguson supports the attack well. Not doing a bad job, the uh, crop on the field at the moment, though, as Ming sends that over the top. Ferguson goes wide for now, up against Davis Coker. Is there a cross for him? Yes, there is. Deep one towards Green. Keeps it alive well. Tomlin. Challenge. Tomlin goes down. He wins a free kick. What is that penalty, in fact? Well, that was clumsy. Just inside the penalty area. Gavin Tomlin going down. And Ashley Carew has a chance from 12 yards to give Dulwich the lead as a result. Scored one penalty this season. Dulwich one from one. He scored against Billericke. In August, can he give Dulwich the lead tonight? You betcha! <laughs> Confidently done as always by Ashley Carew. The goalkeeper did get the right way and may well have got a slight touch on it. Dulwich get the opening goal in the 59th minute. Carew with goal number four for the season.
Stepped up. So goalkeeper went to his right, as did Carew. Just high enough to take it over him. And he scores in both games against Harrow Borough this season. Harrow making their way down the left-hand side. Sorgan Yeel then comes across Banya trying to arrive. Taylor stretches to clear. Comes out to Moy can strike a mean ball. Not that time though. And the final shot is over and away by Asar Kaba. Moore does possess a rocket of a shot in his locker. But that one was miscued and Kaba had a difficult one to try and wrap his foot round. Sorgan Yeel. Brian. Across to Moore. Again, fancies a long range shot. It's off target. Everyone's scrambling. Again, watched all the way the goalkeeper. 7 1 Ferguson had on the other end for Dulwich. Fairly composed since they went ahead, Dulwich. Harrow naturally are going to come at them a bit more. Well, so that's a lovely pass for Gavin Tomlin to chase. Gets the ball ahead of Davis Coker and turns him as well. Tomlin lays it off. Ming. Got in the way of the referee, or the referee got in the way of him, I should say. Tomlin, lovely skill, floats in the cross. Ferguson! Wrong side of the post, how has he missed that? The build-up play from Tomlin deserves the end product to be good, and Ferguson was the only one in the stadium who know how he's missed that header. The Tomlin's skill there was exquisite. Carew. Slowing it up, Ming. Well, that Harris, but men behind the ball. Can't go out. That's a lovely little chip pass. Ferguson, Alassani. Is this his chance? Alassani! Smothered by the keeper and he can't get to the rebound. Again, a bit of skill. It was exquisite. And the shot was comfortable for the goalkeeper. Hasn't got his goal yet tonight. Tomlin will trudge his way to the far side to take. Oh, they'll dearly love a second goal. Tom Lynn's in towards Weatherstone! 2-0! Mark Weatherstone off the bench. Early on in the game. And he's taken his goal well. Got up superbly. Minter got a big hand on it. But such was the power in the header. He's only palmed into the top corner. Second goal he scored this season, the centre-back. So Dulwich could dearly love that second goal, and they've got it. Tomlin have been praising his deliveries all night. That one again found its target. That's Weatherstone with a powerful header, which was too hot for Minter to handle. Kaba. Let go by Passage for more. Here is Passage, another block shot by Taylor. Not the first time he's done that tonight. Cargo has given that straight back to uh, Harrow. Moore, now's the ball to come across him. Stanislas. Kaba, is there room for a shot? Yes, there is. That's a fine effort. Hits the outside the post. Edwards wasn't near that. Kaba had a pocket of space to work with, and boy, he nearly fired Harrow back into the game. It's the best chance I've had since Banya went through one-on-one -on -one earlier on in the half. More from Stanislas's pass. Again, Stanislas trying to head that on. Moss will give chase. Bit of a shadow in this game for the most part, Ryan Moss tonight. Alessandro gets ahead of Ujar. And lovely bit of skill gets away from him and he's got the space to move into. One-on-one -on -one he goes. Great work from Minter to close down the angle. Ujar maybe just did enough as well, tracking back. Alessandro got away from him, but he came back well, the captain. Some great speed to get forward here. Bryant. Turns away from Ferguson. Nicely done. Passage. Shot for him, there is. 
Takes deflection, Edwards spills. It's come for Moss. Sends in the cross. Cabra arriving, can't head it on target. And Dulwich aren't going to be uh, have a nervy ending to this game. Seems a routine gathered at the penalty area for Edwards, but fumbled. Moss put the ball in for Cabba. Wrong side of the post with his head up. Has been a bit stretched since Dulwich has gone 2-0 up. Harrow not shutting up shot. They are still pushing for an unlikely comeback. That's a great ball by Taylor. Ferguson's onside here. Can he pull it back? Yes, he can. Alassani for three, saved by Minter. Low drive is kept out by the leg of the goalkeeper. That would have sealed the game for sure. Again, it's going to come back at Dulwich. Sitting a bit deep at the moment. Bryant. And there he goes. Cabba. So we kneel on the outside. Cabba's found some space going infield. Unlike his earlier shot. Won't pose any trouble. Thank you for your support this evening. Receivers attendance 1,199. 1, 9, 9. There's 1,200 people inside Champions tonight. That's an excellent attendance for a midweek game. And everyone at Dulwich Hamlets really appreciates the support that the fans have put in in the last few weeks in a difficult time for the club. Brian Wyatt, Sogan Yeel. So by Stanislas, Beggs finds Moss. Has he got a final shot on him? He does, but it's into the side netting. It's comfortable for Edwards. Moss hasn't had too many sniffs of goals tonight, it's got to be said. Early header he maybe should have done better with. That one was watched comfortably wide by the goalkeeper. So he's going to play keep ball now. Cargbo. Bit of a slip, able to find Ferguson nonetheless on the far side. Watch Yadam. Ferguson again. Well, they might have lost in the FA Trophy on Saturday, but Dulwich Hamlet continue to win in the league for the second time this season. They've beaten Harrow Borough. 2 0 the final score tonight at Champion Hill. After a goalless first 45 minutes, Dulwich were handed a penalty in the 59th minute when Gavin Tomlin was bundled over clumsily, pushing the bat by George Moore and Ashley Carew, just as he did in the fixture between the two sides in September found the opening goal of the game despite Melvin Minter going the right way and the second goal came in the 73rd minute a quarter from Tom Limp headed home by Mark Weatherstone Minter did get a big hand on it after that Haro came into the game Sarkaba hitting the outside of the post but it was too little too late for them Dulwich continued to win in the league final two at Champion Hill Dulwich Hamlet 2 Harrow Baronil. Gav, how would you rate that tonight? Uh, it's good to get another win uh, in the league. Um, tough, very tough. Um, Harrow came down, they probably enjoyed the occasion and the fact that we had so many uh, supporters um, at the game on a Tuesday night and they, re they rose to it, they worked really hard. Um, to be honest with you, we've watched them play and they, they always put a good shift in. Um, but I thought that we, um, we, we weathered what they brought to us um, didn't look like we were going to concede really uh, during open play um, and we scored our goals uh, at opportune times for us. Although you scored in the second half, it wasn't, didn't feel as if you were as slow to get out of the traps today as you were at Harlow perhaps? Yeah, definitely. Um, 
we didn't get going at Harlow, but you know that's that's gone now. Um, I think the boys are learning how to win games, uh, even when we're not playing brilliantly. Uh, we understand that we can't always play brilliantly. We understand that teams are going to try and make it difficult for us, as Harrow did today, but we won the game. It's 2-0 and that's all everyone's going to and be concerned about the next day. So um, some every days will be brilliant, uh, and there'll be other days where we're not so good. But if we can keep winning, that's what we want to try and uh, breed. A better performance than against Harlow. I think at Harlow we were a bit slow to get out of the traps. Seemed to be a different way we played tonight. Yeah, we just got to keep going. We're in a good run of form, apart from the obvious Saturday. Um, but yeah, good, great to be back to winning ways. Midfield really got a foothold in that game and a stranglehold on on the Harrow midfield. Yeah, as it went on, we started to do a lot better. Uh, I thought we um, <clears throat> positionally we were good. Uh, we didn't give an opportunity to counter attack on us, but also it was good in, uh, in possession as well as we, as we got better. Nice to get Gavin a lot of minutes under his belt, his first start since mid-August. Yeah, we've got Gavin and, and Nathan uh, some more minutes. Uh, they're not really ready uh, yet in terms of what their levels are. But um, we also had a lot of players who've been needing a little bit of a rest and we need to freshen it up. We'll freshen it up again on Saturday. Um, but it's good to get them guys some minutes and they'll be ready maybe in a month, maybe even, to be quite honest with you. But um, as if we can use them along, along in that time, then that'd be great. The biggest blow tonight was obviously the injury to Michael early on. How have you assessed him? Not heard anything yet. Um, he doesn't know how it happened. I think uh, he got into a... I think he picked up a yellow card, actually. I'm not sure, but um, he got into a, a challenge and I think the guy's contact as he landed... Um, has uh, impacted him, but he found it quite difficult to stand. <clears throat> but we don't know how bad it is, and we're hoping it's not too serious. Nice for you to get a goal. It's been a long time coming. I think it was a couple of months since your last one. <laughs> yeah, I love scoring. It's been a long time in coming, but Tomo's come back and he's got me a penalty, so buzzing that he's back as well. At the end of the game, you went over to the crowd, a lot of the players did. There seems to be a really good bond, really strong bond between you and the fans at the moment. Yeah, they've stuck by us from the start. I've been here four years, and they've been like the 12th man, like the scheme so yeah they, they really are doing well Well Saturday was disappointing to go out the trophy it's another league win it's the most important thing this season and we're on a good run in the league still Yeah we are we are we're playing some uh, nice football at times uh, but again the main thing is the winning mentality which we've got in our dressing room we've got players uh, who are not playing week in week out coming in and contributing uh, to be honest with you I couldn't tell you what our strongest 11 is we've just got a, a lot of very good players for this level of football um, we're all working hard uh, all being very humble as well it's another league win. How important is it to go to the Met Police, who are second in the league on Saturday, and put in another good performance and keep this run going? It's vital. We've just got to keep it going, as you said. Uh, get the wins and get as many points as we can.